<laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, that's good. Raisiny bread? I was gonna say prunes, but no. More like uh, dates. Oh god, I love that smell. I gotta do it again. I'm a fiend. I can already tell that this, this blend is going to take some uh, patient puffing. And I can also tell that some age, I think, will benefit this blend. For those of you who smoke Virginias know that Virginias tend to age like fine wine, red wine. So the very beginning, there's not, there's not a lot of intense flavors going on. Okay, so see, now that I'm getting just past the, the end of the, the eighth, eighth, first eighth of the bowl, I can really hear with my mouth. I can really taste the, uh, the sweetness coming from the Virginias, I, I presume. And so this is their uh, tribute to brick and mortar tobacconists. And this is from their spring 2022 batch of Virginias, I, I guess. This has Cavendish, Burley, Virginias, and that's it. There's no casing as far as I'm aware of. Yeah, just Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia. Because of the higher uh, moisture content, I gave this a little bit of a uh, looser pack in the bowl. That's helping, I can tell. Yes, I had a few relights, but for the most part now, after the first eighth, uh, it's it's staying lit. Uh, through the retrohale is kind of like that bready, earthy, nutty even. These are all faint at the moment. There's nothing like super punchy about this blend yet. There's a little cluster of birds just above me somewhere. Yeah, so as I'm approaching the midway point in the bowl, the sweetness yet again has, has intensified and is uh, is accompanied by kind of a deeper, earthier kind of flavor as well. And there's a little bit of citrus whistling in the background. I think this is a good first impression. I wouldn't call it stellar, but I think uh, maybe with a little more dry time, maybe if it just sits for a little bit longer, um, aging maybe, this blend might might sing a little more to me. It's not it's not bad by any means. But this is this is up there. I'd say this has the potential to be fantastic uh, blend with a little age and maybe a little bit more dry time. Let's say if I were to rate it, I guess three and a half stars out of five. I do like the sweetness though. It's it's nice. Kind of a bready, bready sweetness. Like a like a charred donut. And of course that's even more pronounced when the puffing is slow. Really can't emphasize that enough. Sipping your pipe is a must. That's it for now. There's my first impression on Cornell and Deal's House Reserve, tin number 692. Until next time, may all of you have pipe thoughts galore.